YNS Magazine got started because I had been working with a variety of entrepreneurs in a PR capacity. And whenever we would get together, these female entrepreneurs, we would talk and share best tips and practices about what was going on in terms of building our companies. And I began to realize, hmm, this information isn't all in one place. And I am a big lover of entrepreneur magazines. And I started to realize that they were geared towards men from their style to their content. And so I drew up this really, really ugly mock magazine cover that I thought was really awesome at the time. And I emailed it out to some female entrepreneurs that I knew. And I said, if this was something that existed, would you read it? And a bunch of them got back to me and said, not only that would they read it, they would love to write for it. And about three months later, we did a soft launch of our first issue. My biggest challenge so far with Lioness Magazine has been the business development side. Just because I still maintain a day job and so squeezing in everything uh, has been a little difficult. I have a news background. I was a news reporter for more than seven years. And so I'm really, really comfortable with that side and the branding and the content. I know what it should look like. I know what it should say. When it comes to sales, uh, though I'm trying and I'm learning and I'm growing and I'm open, I'm coachable. Uh, it's been a little difficult because I have this day job. And so I'm taking a big leap of faith because I believe in the product and what we're doing and the services that we're providing to these women. And I'm leaving my job at my day job at the nonprofit this summer so that I could focus on Lioness full time uh, and see where it's headed. I, I believe in the product and the service that we're providing. And I'm here to help these kick ass ladies. And so we're at a critical point where we really need to focus on building up our content and making sure that readers are returning every month. Prior to this, I didn't really want to go out and ask for cash if I really wasn't sure what the brand could do. And after investing my own dollars in building up readership and taking us to a little smidge of a next level, I feel like now I am able to go out and prove uh, that the brand is strong and what we can do. I am from Springfield, Massachusetts, which is known as the city of firsts, which also means that we are the home of entrepreneurs and innovation. So what does that mean? These are just some of the things that were founded here. We're the home of basketball, of the first gas-powered car, the first modern fire engine. We're the home of Merriam-Webster. We're actually the first Springfield in the United States. We're the home of the Indian motorcycle, adjustable monkey wrench, the first dog show, Junior Achievement, the first public swimming pool in Forest Park. We're even the home of the first postcard. And now we'll be the home of Lioness Magazine.